Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and I've got uh, two New Islander releases for you today. Kind of excited because these are new designs. Uh, I know people sometimes get dragged down by all the divers, but I put this one into action about a year ago or so, and it just took a while to get everything right. Um, I wanted to be perfect, so we'll check them out. We got it's two new uh, one style two new dial variations. Um, I showed this one earlier last weekend. This is that new uh, Spring Dry Prospects Limited Edition. Lots of positive feedback on it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And this is the watch that I was actually wearing in that video under my cuff. Uh, it's the Marathon GSR Anthracite on the bracelet. But since you're seeing this video after it was released, I can finally show it to you. So, so comfortable. What a great, great bracelet. If you have a GSR Anthracite, seriously consider getting one of these bracelets. Absolutely. Um, okay, that's it. Uh, let's see uh, these uh, two new cool watches. So I've got the uh, ISL 32 and 33 here for you today. Both of these have certainly made an appearance on Instagram. Like I said, it's been in the works for probably a year, maybe even more than that at this point. But a bunch of samples and stuff, and it took me a while to get it right. And, uh, you know, I think I got it right. Uh, well, let's put it this way. It's the point where I am happy with it. So I made two variations for now, a blue dial and a white dial. I'm going to show you the blue because I like the blue, but actually I really dig the white as well. Um, I'm trying to kind of show you a little bit of an angle so you can see the beautiful dial. So, uh, like I said, ISL 32 was the white one. This is ISL 33. Um, you know, I'm, I'm really not naming my watches too much. Uh, I guess if I had to classify this, it's almost like a ca uh, casual dress watch, if you will. Um, date. No loom. Nice um, double push button deploy and clasp. Uh, there is a fancier, smanchier dress watch coming out uh, later on, but this is what we've got for now. Okay, so uh, inside beats uh, Seiko NH35 movement, which hand winds, hacks, 40 hours power reserve, screw down crown, guys. I know, I love that. I know you love the screw down crown, and so do I. Here we go. Let's let's make the time a little more attractive for for viewing it. Uh, screw down crown, 40 hours power reserve hacks, uh, date function on the dial, white background, black numbers, uh, beautiful blue dial, silver, I'm sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, 39 millimeters in diameter, okay, 39, 12 thick to a flat AR sapphire crystal, 45 lug tip to lug tip, it is a 20 millimeter lug, so if you don't like the strap that I've chosen, you can uh, obviously put your own on. I did go with a 115 by 75 millimeter strap, simply because I was using the, the, the deploying clasp, and the extra 10 millimeters or so that I saved on length, pretty much you make up for it in the clasp. 120 by 80 on a clasp is really long, so... It's a double push button. I have one. I have actually my own here that I've worn. It's a it's a pre-production sample, but it's pretty correct. Um, but, you know, that's the way. Oops, I just did it upside down. If you're not familiar with the way it works, I'll kind of show it to you on the uh, on my personal one. Oh, I guess we just flipped it over. I got a sticker on here still. Exhibition, case back, usual writing on the back, 100 meters of water resistance, Islander, the logo, and that it is a sapphire crystal. Um, 100 meters, I think I said... Uh, price is 195. Hand winds, hacks, sapphire crystal, beautiful dial, 195. So one of the things that took me a while was getting the chapter ring right. You know, the right pattern, the right this, the right that. You know, it's a little deep, um, so I wanted to pick. I wanted railroad tracks. <clears throat> Excuse me. So it took me a little while, but I finally got what I liked. Uh, silver markers, silver hands. The logo is white, and so is the writing, but they do not glow. Because the dial is textured, the logo and the writing actually do sit above the dial, though they are not technically applied. The dial mold actually has you know, the symbol and the writing in it. It looks pretty cool. Um, I did check it out with a loop my, on my own. Uh, pretty slick. The crown is, of course, logoed, etched. 
the the clasp is not. I, I'm I was kind of wishy-washy on the logo in the clasp, only because I feel like it's a scratch point. It is polished, and it's probably just gonna scratch you off anyway. I don't know. If you think differently, feel free to weigh in. Um, let's see. So that's the blue dial and the white dial. So now the white dial. It's not silver. It's white. Um, you can see he has a white glove next to it. Maybe it's a little a smidgen off white, but it's pretty white. Uh, I went with blue hands, hour, minute, seconds. Still maintains a white date um, with black logo and writing, black printing on the chapter ring, and again, silver indices. So it looks, I think it looks pretty slick. The case isn't a full polished finish. Back up a bit. There we go. The case is a full polish finish. There's no brushing on it anywhere. You know, going still going with that kind of a little bit of a fancier motif, but not full up dress at this point. I wouldn't say, um, but I think it does the job rather nicely. Uh, I obviously don't need to show you a loom shot because it's not going to glow in the dark at all. But I do have. This is the one that I was wearing in some in uh, some photos. I think I might have worn it in a video or two. I do want to show it to you on my wrist, but I will also show you how the clasp works. So it is a double push button deployant. So when you push the two buttons, see how it opens? Okay. And to fit it, the um, the lid, you rotate this up. Oh, excuse me, you rotate this down, I'm sorry. Uh, and the pin goes in the strap you know, you kind of find your location of where you want to put it. I don't, actually don't know where mine was. Maybe it was here. It looks like it was here, actually. And you kind of snap it shut. I don't know if that's where it was. But, and then you put it on. Let's put it on. That is not where it was. Uh, I moved it to the third hole out. So six and three quarter inch wrist. Third hole out. is So as you can see, that's how the sizing is going to work. Um, I find it easier if you do the end with the keepers first. And then you float this guy in. And you... Close it up at the same time, get it out of your wrist, and there you go. Um, maybe I could even go one looser. I don't know. It's fine. Now let me back up a bit. There it is on my six and three quarter inch wrist. It fits me fine. That tip to tip is only 45 millimeters, so it does not wear large at all. It looks great. I guess it's kind of a casual knock around dress watch. I'm not really sure I'd call it, obviously, we won't call it sport. Um, but, you know, more of a, uh, I guess, like an everyday watch. There is a fancier, more expensive kind of dress watch coming out, probably in 2021. Um, but I like this guy. It looks good. So this has been Mark from LongIslandWatch.com showing you uh, this new Islander dress watch, ISL32 and ISL33. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you have not done so yet. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.